Uh, welcome back to Channel 1 Sports. And as, of course, we do every Saturday, we usually have the Saturday sports interview. And today is no different. And in studio tonight, we're joined by an interesting bunch. Uh, of course, uh, on my left, uh, we have <laughs> Dennis Njau. And on my far left, we have uh, Matthews Malusi. And yes, these are part of uh, Arsenal, Arsenal Kenya supporters. Supporters club, yes. OK, uh, let's first start with how did you come up with you know, the idea of just thinking of you know, forming a club out of fans' love of the you know, EPL? Uh, thank you very much for inviting me here. Uh, first of all, uh, one thing we have to accept that uh, in Kenya, we have got a very big uh, local fan base mm -hmm. of uh, English Premier League. Yeah. And uh, five years ago, uh, Business Africa conducted a research, mm -hmm. and uh, Arsenal was about among the three most popular brands. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe that is an opportunity okay. to utilize the fan base to do something constructive okay. with the fan base. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how exactly does, let's say, the membership, how do you join the, you know, the group? Uh, there is a, a certain uh, platinum members, a group of platinum members. Mm -hmm. There's a registration fee and benefits according to that. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't want to join, they just want to come for match screening and join for charity events mm -hmm. and all that. You're free to come. It's free. Eh? Okay. But at the moment, Arsenal has introduced uh, what you call a universal card, mm -hmm. whereby you don't have to register for platinum. But the moment you go to Emirates, you can access uh, Arsenal Museum, Arsenal Shop using that card. But definitely you have to, f to join that using the link that uh, is generated using Arsenal Kenya okay. and other supporters clubs. Okay, um, let's uh, switch a bit to, uh, of course, uh, Matthews. Yes. Uh, besides, of course, being you know, an Arsenal fan base in Kenya, what else that does the group you know, necessarily do? Basically, when it came together, apart from being Arsenal fans, yeah. locally we do mostly charity work. Okay. Like the most, we have local tournament, Arsenal Kenya, we call it Baby Blessing, and then the Arsenal Kenya annual tournament. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, for example, we have branches. We have Arsenal Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Kakamega, mm -hmm. Eldoret, mm -hmm. okay. Nakuru, Kiambu, Embu, Elgeo, Elgeo El Maracuit. Mm -hmm. So all the branches come together in August to do an annual tournament. It's every branch has a team. So that is just a get together tournament. Mm -hmm. Then in June, we have a Baby Blessing Charity Cup, okay. where we have inside the Arsenal Kenya, we have specific teams. So the teams play. We invite other teams to come join the charity <coughs> from Arsen Chelsea in Kenya, mm -hmm. Manchester, Liverpool. Okay. We all converge at maybe K KU or the Nairobi University. Okay. We play the tournament. The tournament, its essence is we had one of our Arsenal member. She was a young lady. She was a single parent. Then she passed on. So we took over the care of the daughter that she left behind. So the funds that we collect during that charity tournament goes towards the school fees and the welfare of the baby. Okay. Yeah. And are uh, your activities <coughs> centered around uh, Nairobi or Kenya or even you know across the borders? Like now, currently, we have introduced East Africa, East Africa Arsenal fan base. Mm -hmm. Last year we began. Last year, last year we went to visit Arsenal Tanzania. Okay. We had Arsenal Kenya, Arsenal Uganda, Arsenal Rwanda, and Arsenal Zambia. We all converged in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. It was a successful. We did charity in Tanzania in a children's home. We donated foodstuff, clothes, and we cemented one house okay. for the kids. Mm -hmm. This year, the Easter, that's the last week, we were in Rwanda. We visited Arsenal Kigali. Rwanda, Kigali. And in Arsenal Rwanda, we had uh, two ladies who both lost their uh, family members. Like one lady lost uh, seven kids and uh, the husband during the genocide. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Arsenal Rwanda had requested the entire Arsenal family. When we visit there, the charity will be renovating her house and doing donation. Okay. So when we went there, all the money that we had collected, we did the full roofing, cementing, walls, and we 
while we were there, we found that there is also a need of building mm -hmm. toilet and a water tank for reservation. Okay. So there we did contribution and also the government supported us because the mayor came and the lead of the army in that region also visited and okay. they also pledged their support towards the same. Okay. So it was nice. Okay, now, of course, I need your take on, on, on an issue, the both of you. And of course, I'll start with the founder uh, of the organization of the movement, uh, for lack of a better word, of course. But both of you are avid football fans, not only international, you know, not only the EPL, also the Kenya Premier League. Yeah. Yes. But what would you say to, you know, let's say some of the viewers are watching and they think it's absurd that maybe you can start a movement supporting an EPL club. Well, well our football back here is, you know, we have no... The fan bases are just, let's say, terrible. We only have the most, let's say, the, m the club with the most supporters in the country. Obviously, we have Gurma here, we have AFC Leopards, Leopards, but then again, that's it. So, what would you say to that? Okay, it goes down to organizations, eh? Uh -huh. Because if you look at uh, English Premier League, for instance, uh -huh. and you look at uh, its sponsorship, uh -huh. both at uh, the league and uh, at the club, individual levels, uh -huh. uh, it's very high. Actually, the, the income they get, it's actually almost twice the what the government get. Okay. So what we need here is just, la what we have here is just lack of organization. And the moment you, you set organization, the sponsors will just come in. Mm -hmm. Like initially, uh, lessons we had for Tresa. By the way, I forgot to mention, we, there are some events we had uh, uh, partnered with Sport Pesa, being a, a national partner. Okay. So um, locally, I think the main problem is uh, the organization, the management. Of late, it has been uh, better off, but there, need, there is a need for initiatives. Eh? Okay. And not just to attach the clubs around maybe the tribal or maybe the, okay, the local, area, but along the passion for that club, mm -hmm. to sell it as a brand. Because if you look at Arsenal, Manchester United, all those, it's like a brand. Here, we, we have to move outside the box okay. and think about the boot football from the grassroots. Uh, I've seen some companies promoting that, but after that, they need to have initiatives whereby they need to get the fans in the stadiums. Okay. And when they get the uh, fans in the stadium, it has to be like something you, you enjoy watching. Okay. Some stadiums in our country, honestly, you go there and you feel like uh, you don't feel that atmosphere. Okay. Yes. Actually, let's uh, follow up on that, on that, uh, on that answer. Yes. So actually, you don't have to give the same opinion because I'm sure you share most of you know, what he what has said. But yeah. Then again, you say that it all starts to it all starts with the fans going out to the stadium, filling the stadiums, and supporting yes. uh, the footballers, which yeah. you know yeah. develops the, the sport, of course. Yes. Uh, but now, tell me something, uh, Matthews. Don't you think, as Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, Kenya supporters, uh, first of all, let's say, just give me an estimate of the you know the mem membership number at the moment. Currently, we have a uh, registration. Those who are registered, mm -hmm. they have paid the subscription fee. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are at eighty-two. 82. 82 mm -hmm. members mm -hmm. and uh, the followers those who do we do everything together mm -hmm. we are currently at 17,000 exactly countrywide I was looking for that figure 17,000 countrywide yeah. but are there efforts for let's say from you guys because already you have the numbers mm -hmm. it will be more easier like some would say I would say it's more it's easier for you guys to maybe tell the fans as much as we watch the EPL and the support Arsenal and all it does maybe one day maybe like before let's say a late kick of match Arsenal versus let's say Man Manchester, Manchester City, City which obviously let's say Manchester City would win but besides that Arsenal would win <laughs> <laughs> get okay. that right yeah. okay that's, that's besides the point <laughs> exactly. but maybe yes if the game is a late kick of match and of course in Kenya the Kenya Premier League we have early kick of matches so maybe how it wouldn't cost anything how hard would it be to maybe tell the fans hey we need to gather somewhere or even go to the stadium and maybe support there you know, local football before then heading out to, obviously you can be traveling to the Emirates, so you're going somewhere to, you know, live screening of the matches. So uh, wh what would that take really? Let me tell you th something. Uh -huh. Internationally, uh -huh. we support Arsenal, uh -huh. the Crest mm -hmm. and the team. Mm -hmm. But locally, we support different teams. Uh -huh. In the same Arsenal family, we have Gormaya fans, mm -hmm. we have FC, we have Bandari, mm -hmm. we have Tasca, we have Karyobank Sharks, mm -hmm. we have Nakumat FC. Even the players, like we have Gormaya players who are members of Arsenal. Mm -hmm. We have FC players who are members of Arsenal Family Kenya. We have players of Bandari. We have players of Nakumat. So you see, when I, let's say it's God playing Tasca. Mm -hmm. Those who support God 
will be very happy to go watch the game at 2 p.m. Mm. and later join the Arsenal family in watching the international match. But do they do that? Yeah, yeah. I know the fans for Gormaya, mm -hmm. FC, uh -huh. yeah. and the national team. Mm -hmm. Now there we go as a as Arsenal family. Okay. Actually, in most instances, like you see them well, starlets. Yeah, we'll get to that, actually. We try <laughs> to pull our crowds uh -huh. to go and watch the national team because there we can do as a family okay. because it's national duty mm -hmm. but now individual clubs everyone has the passion for a separate club okay yeah like and personally i support task fc task fc and the uh, same in the same club same same club yeah Tasca. okay so uh, dennis mentioned that some of the problems maybe the football locally is the management there's no proper management that you know it's all about the structures, the structures. but as a coach Yes, of course, for the viewers. Uh, Matthews is actually a coach. The, he's in the technical bench. That is FC Leo, but under, under 20. And, of course, from your point of view as a coach, what seems to be the problem? Is it the players? Is it the fans not appreciating local football? What's the problem? Personally, currently, mm -hmm. I would appreciate the work that the Federation is doing mm -hmm. as at now. Okay. We are slowly, slowly, we are getting there. Mm -hmm you see the structures were not there the under 20 was poorly managed only like three teams had the under 20 teams mm -hmm. but now every kpl team it's a requirement you have to get your team and now also the kpl teams are getting more involved in the underage teams like f now we have like seven teams that have under 13, under 15 teams. So you see, the structures are coming up. Okay. And you see the beauty of the young ones being involved. The parents will also get involved in sports. Mm -hmm. And once we get the parents involved in sports, then we are slowly building the crowd. Like you see, if my kid is playing for Bandari FC and I'm in Mombasa, I'd love to see the senior team. Mm -hmm. I'll create time for that. The family members will also create time for the same. So despite the young one being the one that is playing, we'll have time to see the senior team. Okay. Yeah. And Njao, maybe you can, uh, you can answer this for me. As he said, uh, it's a requirement for most clubs, clubs in the Kenya Premier League to have an under 20 team. But how practical is that, considering most of the teams in the top tier can hardly support themselves financially? Okay, I think it's very tricky because uh, uh, one of the main challenges is the lack of sponsors okay. and partners. And the reason it's that is that he has uh, mentioned that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think there should be a structure whereby there is an attachment. Okay. You know, there are those fans who feel like, I'm Guru. And then they start supporting based on the wave. Like everybody supporting it's Guru Mahia. Yeah. So I'm going to support Guru Mahia. But there should be that. At, if we look at English Premier League, for instance, mm -hmm. there is that generation support. Like the grandfather is supporting Arsenal their children, their children, and like that. And if you look at the, even the stadium, they are really empty because they usually buy seasonal tickets. Mm -hmm. Like they buy at the start of the season. So that seat, from the start of the season, to the end of the season is booked. And if you look at the way they sit, you see the grandmother there, the grandson, the, the father, and so on. So in Kenya, as much as they do that, there should be that structure whereby, uh, like for instance, I'm a, a, a fan of Gorbaya. I'm coming to the children at the stadium. Mm -hmm. First of, all, first of all, let them feel secure. <laughs> let them feel secure that I'm with my family here. I feel secure by this stadium. Mm -hmm. By putting something like uh, a card or leaving season ticket like that, which are discounted, of course. And then after that, everything, everything now in five, four years, you start seeing the fruits. Mm -hmm. Whereby the generations, like for me, my family, let's assume my family, the grandchildren and all that, they're under yeah. Tasca, for instance. So it will not be an effort bringing in on funds. It will just become automatically. Mm -hmm. Because most of them, you look at even and man, some very small teams in English, mm -hmm. Premier League, like Fulham and all. Their stadium are full. Why are they full? It's because their generational support mm -hmm. started from the grandfather, which comes to like that. Mm -hmm. So basically, the, the main challenge, especially for the teams answering a question, under 17 and to its financing. Mm -hmm. And we understand, because it's not about Kenya alone. Apart from South Africa, maybe and some few, le few leagues in Africa, Zambia. many f mm -hmm. yeah, in Zambia, many leagues in Africa are struggling in terms of uh, supporting. And uh, 
we are very lucky to have uh, some very good sponsors. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that's why I was saying some sponsors are very willing, but what they lack is like uh, something to assure them that if I give you this money, accountability. it will accountability and management. Mm -hmm. It will end up in the in the in the right way. Okay. And that's where the, the funds uh, and the, those who are running the club should do. Mm -hmm. There should be initiatives like the way you have seen KBC going to machinery there, mm -hmm. getting the funds, give them give give them jerseys, mm -hmm. let them feel that they, are, they, they belong there. Yeah. You see, like for us now, we are getting the royal card from us. I know that is a, a way of making that fan feel that, yes, mm -hmm. at least as recognized. So, so in Kenya, that is a, an international club doing that. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, do we have royalty clubs? Mm -hmm. Do we have a, a card whereby if I am a go my, I go to Nakum or to uh, Tusky or Lady Supermarket, mm -hmm. I can use that card and get some royalty. So there, sh there should be an attachment for that. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. now on a lighter note, of course, uh, Arsenal fans, of course, we had to talk about Arsenal. Yes. Uh, so, tomorrow, I need a prediction for tomorrow's game. We have Arsenal playing away to Newcastle at the St. James Park. Prediction? Uh, only two days after Europa League. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I know it will be a very tricky, league, a tricky match. Mm -hmm. As long as you know, we play a very beautiful attacking football. So, I expect uh, us <laughs> to score goals. <laughs> <laughs> I expect us to score goals. Uh -huh. And uh, we have got a very porous defence. I have to, uh, to advise that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I see a very high scoring goal, mm -hmm. very attacking. But at the end of the day, of course, Abu Mayang, mm -hmm. 14, Yo Pierre, mm -hmm. we're going to score. How I mean, at least uh, I'm giving a score of around 3 1. 3 1. In favor of Arsenal. Uh -huh. Yes. How about you, Matthews? Arsenal, 2 0, mm -hmm. full time. Mm -hmm. And of course, Aaron Ramsey. Will be on the score sheet. Uh -huh. Yeah. So 2 0. 2 0. <sighs> Europa we League, sorry, Europa we League bet? actually. We, we can actually bet. <laughs> we, we, we'll do that. On national television. Yeah, we, we'll do that <laughs> off air. I'm not sure, um, you know, that's promoting betting, I'm guessing. <laughs> 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 but the point is, point is yeah. um, I forgot to ask about the Europa League. Arsenal fans have, of course, been making a mockery of United, you know, qualifying for the Champions League through the back door. Yeah, by winning the Europa League, but it's the same predicament or the same situation that you guys are in. So, what do you have to say about that? Okay, personally, I'm very happy. We are meeting uh, Atletico mm -hmm. at semi-finals. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not have liked us to meet them at finals because uh, you know there's a two a two leg match, right? mm -hmm. and here it's uh, it's about tactic. Eh? So here it's about uh, Atletico play a very disciplined. Mm -hmm. a defensive and attacking uh, mm -hmm. uh, type of football. Mm -hmm. So here I see as uh, if the manager makes the right decisions, we are going to go through mm -hmm. uh, in terms of a uh, we goal. But are you going to lift it? Definitely. The moment you have passed semi-finals, you are there to the back top. Mothers. I want to correct my friend first. Ah, okay. And he said if the manager uh -huh. makes the right correction, mm -hmm. the manager has always been doing the right thing. That's why we are in the semi-finals. <laughs> that's why we're in the same finals. I actually and wish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That's why we did for them. Okay, and um, <laughs> sadly we are out of time, but yes. I would have loved. I would have loved to raise that point, you know, beforehand. And <laughs> it's actually fun hearing two Arsenal fans go at it against each other. Yeah, Wenger, Wenger out brigade and <laughs> Arsenal. Wenger, Arsenal knows best. We have got those two brigades. In that Arsenal is Arsenal. Okay. okay. At the end yeah, of man. the season, of course, we have six games to go. I'll call you back to the studio and of course we'll be joined by Chelsea fans and of you course call us as Arsenal of course as Arsenal Kenya and of yeah. course Chelsea fans and Europa United League champions yeah? exactly yeah. and maybe the two city fans that <laughs> are available <laughs> in the country at the moment but well that was <laughs> Dennis Njau and of course our mothers these are members of Arsenal uh, supporters Kenya Arsenal Kenya supporters and of course are uh, quite and insightful uh, information that they don't only support international football, not only about football, they do charity work. So maybe you can get you know, uh, in touch with them if you want to help them you know, be a member of you know, what they do, the initiatives that uh, they have come up with. Uh, but at the moment, that's all. And I'll be joining uh, my colleague, Edward Kabasa, an Arsenal fan, maybe one of the more not logical ones after a break. <laughs>